Hello once again. Before we get started with our course, we need to have some tools and some runtimes to be installed to be able to work with Axios. First thing is what code editor or IDE we gonna use. Actually, it's uh, up to you. You can use any code editor you would like. But for me and in this course, I will be using Visual Studio Code. It's free and working for Windows and Mac OS as well as Linux. So if you want to follow along with me, just download it for your uh, operating system and install it. Uh, it's very pretty easy to install and straightforward. Next is what API or what service we gonna test Axios uh, on it. Uh, there is tons of APIs or public APIs out there. So we can test it with uh, GitHub API, with Twitter API, or whatever. But I thought it's a good idea to have a local API so we can test it freely with no restrictions uh, on our local machine. That's why I've created a Node.js uh, REST API. This means we need to uh, have Node.js installed in order to run this API. If you don't know what is Node.js, Node.js is a JavaScript runtime. JavaScript runtime means we can use JavaScript for backend as we can use it for frontend. So this is what we can say about Node.js. We don't uh, need to know more about uh, Node.js. So all you need to have is to download Node.js for your system. Uh, it's working on every operating system. So just download it. For me, I have Windows, so I use Windows version. Download the latest version and have it installed. The installation of Node.js, no need any experience. It's pretty easy, as uh, we said with Visual Studio Code. Next, we need to set up our ABI. But to set up our API, actually our API relies on a database to save our requests, our data, so we can delete data, add data, and so on. For this purpose, I have used MongoDB with this API. Create a MongoDB database. Uh, the MongoDB official site offers a free database or a free cloud for uh, for you to use the MongoDB on the cloud. All you have to do is go to mongodb.com, click try free, and create your free account. It doesn't need any payment or any credit card info. Just create your account and we will be creating our database. I already have an account, so I will sign in and show you how to create our database. So click sign in. Enter your email and password. Since you have a free, a new, sorry, a new account, then you will have this screen with a create a cluster. So it means you don't have any projects been on this cloud before. Just click build a cluster, choose a plan. This is a paid plans. And this is a free one, which is very enough for us, for testing purpose. So create a cluster on the free plan. Choose a region and provider you would like. You can also set the cluster name. It's not a requirement. I just use it to organize the clusters. So I will name it Axios Course. Click Create Cluster. Now your cluster is being created. Uh, it will take few minutes, maybe one or two or three minutes. So uh, we will leave this and back to it later. Next, we have to set up our API. First, you need to download the API zip file. You will find the link to the download in the description. Once you download it, just right click and extract it. and go to the extracted folder. Now we need to uh, install Node.js modules needed for this API to work. 
we uh, can do this uh, by opening a command line or a terminal or PowerShell just any command line you have on your system I will use PowerShell to so right click open here Before install uh, node modules or install this API, actually we need to make sure we have Node.js installed. To confirm this, just use the command node dash dash version. If you get a, a response or a message like this with any version number, then you have it installed. If you get, get a message with uh, something like uh, cannot identify this command or cannot find the node or whatever then you need to install node.js now all we have to do is run command of npm install this will, will install our api and all packages needed for it and hit enter it will start installing our api and its uh, packages it also may take a few minutes maybe one to two or five minutes so we'll leave it installing and back when it's done okay now node.js installed our abi and its dependencies successfully if you get a few warning messages like this it's normal don't worry it's okay now we need to edit this file and uh, this is fi this file is the environment uh, config configurations file so we need to configure our database to connect with our ABI so let's see if our database created it looks like it's created to connect to our database we need to click on connect uh, if this is uh, your new account then uh, you may get this message where it says you can't connect yet set up your user security permissions below it means you need to create a user to access the database so i will create a new user here i will call it axios and for password i will make an easy password and hit create mongodb user now when our user created we can click on choose a connection method and connect your application make sure the driver is not gs and version is 2.2 .2 or later this is the url you need to connect your database just click copy and head back to the api directory we need to add this URL to this file, so I will open my code editor, which I mentioned before. I will be using uh, Visual Studio Code, so right click, open with code. Once loaded, I will open this file, and in this parameter, I will paste the URL of the database I've created. And in the start of this URL, you can see this where it says password between brackets. You need to remove it, including brackets, and replace it with your password. Now it's done connecting our database. Uh, we need to look at this uh, where it says server board. This is the board where our database will be hosted and listening for requests. It's on 8080 by default. You can change it, of course. I will leave it as default and save this and exit the code editor. Now we need to run our API. To run our API, we also will use a command line and Node.js commands. So open the your command line or terminal to this directory where you can see this package JSON file. I've already opened the PowerShell to this directory where I was installing uh, the modules and uh, the API and now to run it all we have to do is run the command npm run dev and hit enter this will uh, run our API 
and connect to database it says here uh, database connected su successfully if you don't get this message which it means you didn't set the url to your database correctly so recheck it and uh, test again now our api is running so we can test by go to your ip colon the port You will get, you must get this uh, welcoming page. This is serves as a very small documentation for this ABI where we can test uh, endpoints and expected payloads and stuff like this. You don't need to worry about this. We will discuss this all while we working with Axis. So this is all we need to have set up. Before we start with Axios, uh, the last thing I need to mention is before you work with this ABI, all you have to do every time is to npm run dev. This will make sure your ABI is running. So if I close this, and try to access again, it's not working. So to make it live and be able to test it with Axios, all we have is open command line to the directory. We have this, this package to JSON file and npm run dev. Now we can check and it's working again. This is all for this uh, video and in next video we will start working with Axios and test the very good stuff. So thank you and stay tuned for the next video. Goodbye.